Hey guys, so today we got two similarly priced speakers. We got a JBL Charge 2. And just so you guys know, this is not an original model. Uh, the one on the right is the fake JBL Charge 2. And we have a real Soundbot SB525. They're both about in the same price range. I li literally wound up paying $35 for each of them. The soundbot can be picked up on Amazon. The sound quality, we're going to hear it in a little bit. But first, I just wanted to look at the boxes a little bit to see what some of their features are. All right, so here we have the back cover to the boxes of both of these speakers. Uh, we're going to look at them a little bit closely and see what the differences are. So as the soundbot says, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and uh, 15 hours talk time. And basically, it's rated at 14 watts. You could see in there right here, it says 7 plus 7. It's also uh, could be used as a power bank for any of your other devices and it has a speakerphone. Um, in terms of the Charge 2, um, you know, this does say that it's a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, in terms of, you know, whether that's true or not, I really doubt it. In terms of weight, this actual reproduction speaker is much lighter than the soundbot and it's also much lighter than the original Charge 2 which I did own at a certain point. It does claim to have 12 hours of playtime. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is just a copy of the original box. Uh, otherwise, it's also a charge bank and has the same similar features in terms of the speakerphone uh, as the soundbot itself. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna pair both of them to my iPad here. I already previously connected it. You could see both of them are here. Um, either way, we're going to see what the tones sound like and, uh, you know, take something from that. First, we're going to start with a sound bot. So that's the welcome tone. Um, you could see that it's glowing solid right here, the power button. That means the Bluetooth is connected. And now we're going to connect the JBL Charge 2, a non-original speaker. So that was the tone. Uh, to me, it sounds similar to the actual JBL Connect tone, but it's a little bit louder. Um, so you could see right now it's blinking status and all of the lights are on, which I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be on as compared to the real one. Uh, if you guys know for a fact, please let me know in the comments below. We're going to do a test of a sound a little bit. Let's see if it's connected here. All right, so now I also have to physically pair it to the iPad. You heard it. So we're connected right here. It says both connected. Now we're going to go to YouTube, and we're basically just going to play uh, some music here. Let's see which one it starts, and we'll control the volume from there. Right now, we're playing the JBL Charge 2. We're at about 60% volume. It's not very loud from here. Let's just switch to the SoundBot. So uh, it's noticeably louder and has noticeably more bass. Let's make it a little bit louder. Alright, let's go to the other one also. The same. Alright, so they're both at about 75% now. And at this point, I'm just gonna let it play. And we're gonna take a look at these passive radiators to see if they actually move. They're not really moving much. Now we're back to this one. As you can see, this one is actually moving. It's vibrating a good amount. Let's go a little bit louder on the volume. So 
so we're almost at 90% volume. This is still not moving. I can touch it, it's barely vibrating. There's almost no bass coming out of here. Back to this one. You could tell they're moving pretty, pretty violently at this point. Alright, so that was a sound test of two different songs. So we clearly heard the difference. The, the fake JBL on the right sounds pretty bad. Um, the one on the left, which is a soundbot, it's also a low-end budget speaker. But compared to the fake JBL, sounds fantastic. Um, what else can I say about both of these two? So, the soundbot has a battery level gauge. So, let's see if I press this battery button. It's telling me that it's charged. You know, it has three separate LED indicators. Now, interestingly, you would think that this is a battery level gauge, um, but it, there's really no button here to press it. This is the speakerphone, this is pairing multiple ones, which I don't even know if it works at this point. I only have one of these. There's the Bluetooth button and the power button. Um, the brightness of the LEDs is pretty, pretty incredible. I would say dead giveaway. The original one is nowhere as bright as this one. Um, but what I've listened to it before, these plus and minus buttons are not the volume, they're actually the skip buttons to skip tracks. So that was pretty misleading. Um, and you guys saw the passive radiators barely move. You know, let's say I move, I'm move. i moving one with my finger right here. Let's see, I'm going to go like this. And the other side, no movement. That means the unit is not sealed. Uh, basically, the passive radiators do nothing. Let's do the same exact uh, finger pressure test, what I call it, on the soundbot. So I'm going to push it in like this, and we're going to see on this side, it's moving exactly the same amount. This is what you want to see in a passive radiator. Uh, that's how it helps to push a lot of the sound around and creates a lot of the bass effects. So there it is, guys. You got to look at uh, two speakers. Beware. Uh, there's a lot of these fake JBL speakers going around. And from the listings themselves, whether you look at it uh, on some kind of, uh, you know, uh, Chinese type website or eBay, you won't be able to tell because the pictures they use on the original listings are actual JBL speaker pictures, but then when you get a speaker, it's nowhere as close. And obviously, if you haven't had experience with a, the way a real one should sound, you probably wouldn't even know. Um, in terms of price, you know, they are usually under 50 bucks, but actually the other day I did see one for around 70 and I for a fact knew it was fake. Now, the seller had good feedback, but then again, you know, maybe I'm wrong. But I pretty much doubt it at this point. I have a good amount of experience with some of these speakers. I've owned a lot of these brands over the time. And uh, there it is. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything else about any of these speakers, please let me know uh, down in the comments below. Thanks.